habits are the building blocks of our lives. Not the goals or the grand schemes or the vision or the big idea. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Don't even use the word commit. Don't even think about the word discipline. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. And look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this. Why you have got to go. Why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me. What else is available? Of taking a chance, a fear of losing it all. What else is available to me? Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed, and you put it in a two-foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's gonna get stifled by the two-foot pot. Now check this out, ain't nothing wrong with the seed. Seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. What you make it, not what circumstances will make of it. Not what other people will make of it. Not what other people say it will be. Not what the environment will try and dictate to you. But what you make of your life. 